Hello everybody and welcome to episode 4 of Foolcraft. In the last episode we made a refined storage system which is going to help us have uh, a good amount of storage with the 256k storage disks. And I expanded this a little bit, made it slightly bigger, and the elevators don't go down quite far. This is like 20 blocks, I think. So I would need more than just one elevator to get down to bedrock. So I think I have the thingy here. So we can go down here. I'm gonna give it a bit of light so you can see. We have just a waystone here. I haven't done anything else down here, so I wanna get to that. But as you can see, I have some mega loot in my inventory. I went to actually two roguelike dungeons, and I already opened the loot out of one because I, I wanted to see. And if I go at mega loot, that's not mega. That's mega. I got this guy, the picker. It's a shovel that is indestructible and you can also sleep if you shift right click, which is cool. I don't really know if I need a shovel, but I, you can get multi-tool on these. And what I want to do is, as I have in here before I open these, I got the cosmetic transmutation table and I have the tool manipulator. And if we grab some at mega loot, if we grab something that I won't ever use, like all of these white ones. Oh, here, come on. That, 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 those. Well, these Viking leggings makes resistance to knockback. Like, I'll keep the, the epic things, maybe. Well, the bow I don't need. This guy I don't need. The samurai leggings I don't need. Dragon boots. Uh, five upgrades. But that might be okay to keep. So we can put these guys in here. And then we can press the disenchant button. And I, it'll break it down into one, two, five shards, I think. Of the same quality. So let me get through all of these and I will show you how many shards I get. I broke down all the tools and these are the shards that I got. These are the shards that I already had from before. So we can now combine those and have over a stack of common shards, which is nice. And let's open up the cases here. Let's grab the eight of the normal ones and see what we get. We get a dragon chest plate. We get a longbow, a something sword, a shovel, another shovel with low mining speeds. Like the mining speeds of everything on common, it's not gonna be that great. Oh, we got two dragon chest plates actually. One makes resistant to knockback and the other one, and this one has more upgrades, but like I don't need any of this, I don't think. So I'll just disenchant it while we do this here. And let's do the rare ones. We got another samurai pants, a bow with it's Black Widow, and another bow, and another boots. These are night boots. Prevarid's resistance one when wearing three pieces. Okay. Again, I don't think I'll use this. I want a pickaxe. That's a pickaxe. Please have multi-tool. Damn it. Mining speed 22. Not that great. So what we can do is, hold on. We have sh some shards. Sh uh, add mega. To get the upgrade charm, you need eight shards and an epic mega loot case. So we need nine plus eight. It's 17 shards, so if we disenchant this guy, I don't have anything else that's epic, right? No. We would need to get, f we don't think we can get enough shards. It's four, or one short. God damn it. And I don't have anything at mega loot, nope. Nothing else in here. So yeah, let me let me break some more tools down and then we're gonna continue on with the episode. So I'm starting to get ready to get some power infrastructure going with an Enderman spawner, with an Ender generator. I don't think we're going to get into many speed upgrades today. We're just going to get into the basic ones, but we need the water mill for this. I made a manual mill here. You right click it and it generates 15 RP, uh, what is it? GP, that's the word. And then you can put polished stone in the resonator and it generates GP and it turns this slowly into the stone burnt as you go here, when it gets to 8, I believe it should make a stone burnt right now, and it should reset back to 0, so that's cool. And the water mill, we need some water buckets. Let's grab two here. Uh, where do I have a little bit of space? Uh, let's just put this down. Let's do it right here. So we can put the water mill on here, and then if we put a water bucket in that corner, and a water bucket in this corner, we should be generating 16 GP. There it is. Wireless RF battery. So for that, we need a bit more stone burnt. So that's gonna be, be cooking up right now. And then we're gonna make these little 
little wireless RF transmitters. We can actually make those right now. Make two sets. Basically, you place one of these down, and then you can right-click it, and it's going to serve some tiles to give them power when you have the wireless battery hooked up to power, basically. So what I'll do is I'll just hook it up to this Starling generator for now, just so we can get that started, and then we're going to put an Ender generator here with some speed upgrades next to the wireless battery, and we're going to make an Ender chest and all that, but we need we need the, the stone burnt, which is now here. Wonderful. So we're going to do that. Put this here. I did a little bit of work. I set it up to spawners, and we have... Uh, this little box, it's all out of cobblestone that has been chiseled with this diamond chisel that apparently doesn't have durability, which is really cool. And what we have is just, that's four Enderman spawners. And I'm thinking of putting like three or four more blaze spawners in there. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to put this there and this is should give uh, power over here. Then we're going to grab a conduit and let's grab the blaze. And I think three is gonna fit in here. Hold on. Ah. Let me get a standing block. Like there. Okay, blaze, blaze, blaze. And this should get our blaze spawning already, I think. Because uh, it's gonna be dark in there anyway. So what this does is this will kill all mobs in its working area, which is this one by three. Uh, and we need to expand this. And this. It's already working and it puts blaze rods into here in its internal inventory and we can hide the working area which covers this nine by nine so that should be good so then we can extract the stuff from here for now just into this small storage crate just so i can get get some stuff going we're gonna do that wonderful and then we're gonna grab a fluid conduit here and put the drum over here and we're gonna Fluid, extract, always active, like so. Nope, extract, disable. And this is, should make us essence. Oh, that's four million, that's nice. Did I put my dark glass away? I didn't. There we go, we're making endermans as well. And we have a pathway behind here, like so, to get to the stuff. So this should make us ender pearls and all of that. So we need some blaze rods and uh, ender pearls to make ender chests. So let's put this here. Let's toss all of this in here. And then go back up top to home base. And just for now, we're gonna do this. We're gonna grab a conduit. The other ender chest. We can say extract always active. And I think it should insert uh, ender pearls automatically. Yeah, sweet. So let's grab this. Put it here and then we're gonna remove that and that and we're gonna put down this guy to power all of the stuff let's put the sag mill here hold on sag mill i said we don't need this anymore and what i want to do next is try and get into basically some disenchanting because i want to fix this guy up and i don't want to use my epic uh, shards for this so I want to put some mending on it and maybe some other stuff, like a, um, whatchamacallit, uh, maybe another upgrade if I, I found another roguelite dungeon that I can go explore, so maybe we're gonna go do that, I think. That should be cool. So yeah. Uh, let me find out what I'm gonna do and I'll be back in just a bit. So I made this guy in between cuts here, uh, which is an enchantment extractor that is gonna extract one enchantment off of the item into a book off of the thing so i don't know how it works by choosing so this one only has soul bound so it should extract the soul bound how are you for extract like i don't know if it extracts just one okay so yeah it extracts everything so that's cool so it just has to fill up with power again and then it extracts everything wonderful so for this guy let's do Efficiency and it's going to do unbreaking. Uh, also, we can make this guy. Hold on. Uh, experience obelisk. I have made everything for this, which will allow us to store our experience. Then we need an anvil. I had one at some point, somewhere. 
Did not did I not have an anvil? I thought I put it down somewhere. Anvil? No. How much uh how what what is dark steel again? Is it super expensive? I think it's pulverized coal and obsidian and iron, yeah. Uh, so we need uh let's just make I think it's thirty one. Uh coal. Let's get some coal going and some Obsidian. So you do the coalses while we extract some more stuff. I enchanted this guy with a lot of stuff and putting mending on it was too expensive. So what I did is I crafted another block here. And I have it down here. And if we right click the solidified experience, this mends itself, which is really cool. But we have this enchantment applicator and I clicked a button that I didn't want to click. There we go. You put an item in here and the book and then it's going to enchant the book onto the item and use essence to fuel it. So I presume it uses a hefty amount of essence depending on how much of an enchant you want to put on, which is really cool. And we have lots of mob noises and I can go into video, no, options, music and sound, hostile creatures, lower down. There we go. That should be fine. Uh, so yeah, uh, we don't really need to use XP for enchanting anymore basically because you can just use essence Which is cool. Uh, I did put this guy here and I put uh, all my XP inside which is all, all right I, We can use it for something uh, and also I have a dark uh, steel anvil which lasts quite much longer than a uh, Than a normal anvil does and I accepted a lot of enchants here uh, We could get a pickaxe or this pickaxe with mending and unbreaking and all that and have it run really long um, but the ultimate goal is I think I'm gonna go explore the uh, roguelike dungeon see if I can get some more epic shards and maybe epic loot cases and then I can just put make some upgrade charms because if I find two epic loot cases that would be cool because I can then make two upgrade charms and add two upgrades to this which already has 38.12 mining speed which is uh, a little less than two short of max, which is 40. So that's really great. It has a lot of durability, which I don't care. You can get indestructible anyway, so mending would be obsolete then, but we can uh, remove enchants if we want to. We can just put it in here and remove the enchantment. But yeah, let me go explore a roguelite engine or two, and I'll be back once I have some epic loot cases. After a little bit of exploring of, I think, three or two or three Roguelite Dungeons. I only managed to find one epic mega loot crate with this and I believe like so and we get an upgrade charm Because this we can make another loot crate if we want to but I'm gonna save the shards for upgrading stuff and If we put this guy in here now, I have extra shards here and this here We get health boost three Okay, so if we hold it, I presume we get more health uh, but we can take our axe if it I don't like the texture and we can change it to Any sort of texture of a tool that we've already broken down at some point So I believe if I put this in now we can change it. I don't know if we can change it back to this guy Which I don't necessarily like so I think we can do Let's say this one this should be fine and then we can change it back again Yeah to any of the of the of the other kinds a couple more roguelike dungeons after I have some more loots so we can take one of the cases and the shards that I have and I'm not gonna have enough shards to do the rest unless we get lucky and get a get five shards out of one tool but we can try and do that area miner ooh that's neat how do I turn that on hold on let me look already I figured it out uh, I set a keybind for this so we can change this guy's uh, working area from 1x1 one one to 2x2 two two, to 3x3 three three to 4x4 four four to 5x5. Five five. The only thing now I need is multi-tool and that's one upgrade away and we need we need like we need five more shards. So we need to either get lucky on this and what are you? You're a pokey and we need to break this down and if we get five shards I'm gonna scream. one okay so more exploring to be had again i couldn't keep away from doing some some more exploring so we have some mega loot cases and i'm going to open two of them and then leave the last one and hopefully we can get four shards out of these two 
Jetpack. That is cool. These are... How, how, how does this work? Okay, it's a jetpack. Is it a... And it's a glide thingy. Jetpack hover 14. Speed 3. Does this... Is this like a full-blown jetpack with nothing... No cost? Because if that's the case, I'm keeping it. And if you sneak, you go down faster. Plus, there's no fall damage. Okay, I'm keeping that. I'm gonna go explore some more, I guess. Because we probably won't get four shards out of this, unless we get lucky. Three! Oh, one short. Okay, I found one more mega loot case in another roguelike dungeon. That took quite a while, so let's do that. And see what it is. It's an area miner dislocator, 39.61 mining speed. And this is 38.12. This has a faster mining speed, but I have all the upgrades on this. So, and this only has two upgrades. So we're gonna break this down and we're definitely gonna get at least one shard out of this. And then we can get the last upgrade and hopefully, hopefully it's multi-tool. Oh, we get four out of this one. So let's do this, upgrade charm and police, police game. What did I get? Haste one when held. God damn it. It's not multi-tool. I have haste two from a ring. That's mega loot. Uh, yeah. Well, okay. We have an ax that is really cool, I guess. All that work. We got a jetpack though, kind of thingy. So yeah. Uh, I think it, this is going to be it for today. That is uh, huge shoulder pads. Okay. <laughs> Guess I have to get used to it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I'm hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit the like button. Consider subscribing to see new videos. Leave a comment down below to let me know what you thought. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.